Um, okay, we can actually. No, no, this is not time for television. Just go upstairs, okay? We've had a long day. Go to your room. I'll see you soon. Stan, take it to right? No question. I'll be pushing All right? Babe, what's going on? Why are you looking like that? Are you okay? What's happening? What happened? Babe, talk to me, please. What's going on? Babe. What is it? I lost my job. What? Yeah. What do you mean you lost your job? How? When? when how, what happened? The company decided to retrench seven of the senior staff. They said they are restructuring and downsizing mm -hmm. due to the recent economic crisis. Oh, my God. Oh my god. Yeah. I'm so sorry, baby. Oh, why now? It's fine, baby. It's okay, all right? I mean, it's a job. Just like you got this one, you'll get another one, okay? I know, but... I'm I sure know. a better one, okay? I know, but, but, but why should this happen now? I virtually have nothing in my account. I've been spending every money I make on the mortgage of this property. I and I still have the kids' school fees to pay. Why? I'm not babe, just... I know, babe, but I mean, I have my business. And it's not doing badly, so we can make do with that for now. While we try to get you another job. I'm sure you get something soon. Okay. Okay? Mm. So just, just calm down. Mm. Thank you. So we're fine, hmm? Yeah. I can't sit back and allow my wife assume the breadwinner of this family. No. It will bruise my ego. I must not lose my pride of place in this house. I will do everything within my powers to secure another job immediately. Let me have my drink. No, okay. I'm not giving it to you. Drinking won't solve anything. Yeah, I know you lost the job and that must hurt really bad, but it's in the past now. It has happened. Listen, babe, you're a smart guy and you're very good at what you do. You'll definitely get a good job in no time without trouble. You don't have to drink. Do you know how much of my blood and sweat I gave for that company? To get to where they are today. And in the end, they just threw me off like trash. I swear with every no, single... No, 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 no. You, babe, you cannot swear. Why? Why do you want to swear? No, babe. Everything will be fine. You'll get a job. Everything will be fine. Baby, you don't, know, you, don't know, you, don't, you don't know how much. I sweat, understand. Babe. And babe, I don't like this. You can't be drinking over. No, it's past midnight. Let's go to bed, okay? Okay, baby, please. You know I also need to sleep. I need to get some rest. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry, baby. Let's go sleep. Yeah. Yeah. Babe, you must sleep. 
Yeah. I'm trying. I'm or trying. like just I'm, I'm sleeping. It's okay for your hair to be low. Okay, alright, alright. Yeah. Bye, right, baby. Sleep okay? Yeah, I'm sleeping. Hi, babe. Hi, honey. Did you buy any chance in my laptop? The laptop? It's in the car. Oh, okay. So, aren't you going to eat? Sit down and have no, your breakfast. No, well, actually, yeah. As a matter of fact, I'm already late. You know, I actually sent my CVs to several companies, but, you know, I still need to make physical presents, you know, and see a couple of my friends. So I'll catch you later, okay? Babe, you don't need physical presence. All you need to do is send your applications via emails and then wait for them to call you okay. via emails. I know, but these days you need to show extra commitment. Things are done differently now. All right? I'll see you when I get back. So you're not going to eat at all? Yeah, not even sorry. a bite? No, I can't. So what? I'm sorry. Take care. Mm? Babe, just a bite. Hello? I need you to come to my house now. Like right now. Why were you acting as if it was a life on that issue? Come inside. No, no, hold on, hold on. Just tell me whatever you have to say. I'm running late. Babe, come inside. Let's go. I can't come in now. Man. I'm running late. I told you last night that I lost my job, right? Now I'm going for job hunts. And I don't have the patience. So just go ahead and see what it is. I'm making it difficult. I won't waste your time. You know what? I'll see you later, okay? Take care. I'm pregnant. What? Good news, right? That's good. You're pregnant? <laughs> Come on, babe. This is good news. Who is responsible for this pregnancy? What sort of question is that? Who else would be responsible if not you? What a mess I have gotten myself into. How did I get here? Oh my God. My wife will freak out if she gets to hear about this. What exactly was I thinking when I looked beyond my wife for sexual favors? Hey. Yeah, 
Don't tell me you're still thinking about that job. No, 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 come on, man. I'm not thinking about the job. Something else now occupies my mind. And what could that be? It's rather too personal. I'm not ready to share. Okay, if you say so. So, um, how many companies were you able to visit today? None. None? Yeah. Why? What you said you're going to... Uh... I just told you, Desmond. Something else now occupies my mind, okay? Give me a break. Really? Well, if you say so, well, whenever you're ready to share, I'm here with you, bro. But you need to calm down because you're not here with me. Good evening, dear. <laughs> I didn't hear from you again. Hear from me regarding what? What we talked about earlier. The pregnancy? Mm-hmm. I'm still thinking about what we should do about it. See, there's nothing to think about. I am keeping it. Benita, could we... Let's talk later. I've got to go now. Why did I even do it? What was I thinking? Why did I indulge myself in extramarital affairs? I have the most beautiful woman in the whole world to myself. What else was I looking for in another woman? How would she feel if she finds out that another woman is pregnant for me? Would she leave me? Lord, have mercy. Babe. Honey, you're oh. awake. Oh, babe, why are you still awake at this time? I was just looking at your face. Why? Well, um, for starters, drawing inspiration from your beautiful face. And thanking God for making it possible for me to marry an amazing wife like you. Oh, love you, baby. I love you too. Come to bed, come. Yeah. regret everything. I regret everything, everything that I've done. I regret it. What? What do you regret? Honey, you, you, you are awake. Yes, babe, what? What do you regret? Um, actually, what I meant is that I regret not resigning from the office when I could. I mean, I, I should have resigned when the son took over the running of the company from his father. But yet I stayed and waited to be fired. Oh, babe, I told you to stop. Take a deep breath and just calm down. 
Listen, everything will be fine. You're giving your best. It's time for you to grow. You're going to get a better job, an amazing job. Another one that you would love even more than this one you just lost. And trust me, while you are searching, I will be here every step of the way with you. Okay? I love you. Um, good day, my name is Benita. Wait, you said you're who, please? Benita, I don't stay far away from you, I'm your neighbor. I've been seeing you around and I decided to come and bring my product to you. And I oh. think it's going to be good on you. Really? Good on you? Yes. Okay. Let me show you this. What is the name of the NL. NL. Strictly organic. Oh, really? Okay. Well, wow. Honey, don't you have something like this already? Oh, this smells good. Mm-hmm. This. Oh, what is this? Right? Turmeric body wash? Yeah. Huh? Stretch mat and green vein. Oh, wow. Really? Oh, the products look really nice. And so what is this? Stop. Is this, okay, this is like a black, oh, black soap. Mm -hmm. Wow. No, no, I don't want any of that. Okay. Um, let me I really love the way it smells. Mm, it behind. smells like it has carrots or something, or mango. Let me see this. What is this? The face cream? Mm -hmm. Night. Is that what you use? Yes. Oh, I don't want that you glow. Well, like you yeah. oh, wow. I, need... I should give you my number. Oh, yes, please, yes. No, but maybe I... you don't need her number. Oh, babe, when I'm done with what I'm using, I could try hers. I mean, she looks good. I love her skin. Yeah, so. trust me. And exactly. You're glowing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, wow. Babe, you're drinking again. And you're crying. Babe, you can't continue like this. You know what? Come, let's go to the room. Come, let's go. Come, baby. Let's go. I won't leave you here by yourself. How can I go to the room? When sleep is far away from my eyes. I cannot even imagine what is going through your mind at this time. It must be a lot. But I want you to know that no matter what happens, no matter where life tosses you, I will be there with you. I will be holding your hand and never letting it go. Come here, baby. Is everything with you, eyes, your wife and your kids? Yeah, everything is cool. Same old, same old. You know, 
uh, stay at home, throw out the whole day doing nothing. My wife has suddenly become the breadwinner of the family. And you know, that somehow messes up with my ego. Yeah. Well, I, I understand, okay? As well, everything will be fine. Um, so, how far have you gone with job hunting? Are you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. I was just a little bit distracted. Sorry. You said something? Yeah, I was asking, how far have you gone with um, job hunting? Oh yeah, job hunting. Job hunting, well, it's been going on, you know, I've been trying my best, to be honest, you know. I've gone for a couple of interviews, but you know my previous job was so awesome, so I'm just trying to nail something that will be better than my last. So I don't, you know, move backward in life. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Uh, well, it's okay. I feel um, you have to try more. Try yeah, I'm trying. Try. Yeah, you have to try more because you know jobs are not easy to. Stan. Yeah. Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm no, fine. because you've been acting weird these days. I don't understand. Is there something you're not telling me? I'm fine. Listen, you don't look fine. You've been acting weird these days. I'm your friend. Talk to me. I just have a lot on my mind, okay? But I'm fine. <sighs> well, okay. Hello, Benita. Good morning, baby. Um, can I call you back? I'm actually running late for work. No, 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 wait, wait. I won't take much of your time. I just want to ask you a question. Okay, what is it? When are we getting married? What did you just say? I mean, when are you coming to meet my people and pay my bride price? Are you... Are you out of your mind? Have you gone nuts? What exactly are you saying? Listen, you are aware that I'm pregnant for you. And it is not my wish to give birth outside of wedlock. See, Benita, listen. See? Yeah. What are you still doing here? You have an interview to catch up with. Who are you talking to? Desmond. Tell him you'll call him back later. No. This is no, no time to play. Desmond, I have to go for an interview now. I'll, I'll call you back, okay? Bye, 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 bye. He keeps bugging me. He keeps bugging you and then you're talking to him. He just go. Okay, yes, Benita, I got you pregnant, okay? But come on, this is not the first time this is happening. Are we supposed to get married simply because you were pregnant for me? So what do you expect me to do about the pregnancy? I don't know! All I know is that you and I, we, 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 we can't just get married. I am a happily married man. A happily married what? Say that again! Benita, I am happily married. What exactly are you saying? What is a happily married man doing on another woman's bed? Have you forgotten how you were on your knees begging me to satisfy you? Now don't even start! 
You and I both know that you are the one that seduced and loved me to bed with you. You knew what you were doing all along. I, Benita, seduced you? <laughs> that is like taking credit for another man's will. Oh, all right, Benita, listen, I'm sorry, okay? I did not come here to play about you, all right? N neither we are we supposed to be having a back and forth ride, but just listen to me and try and understand me. It is not in my DNA to take a second wife. Please. Okay, fine. Just provide a visa for me to leave this country. A visa? You either marry me, or you provide the money that I'm going to use to process my traveling papers. Day. Well, my day was. was okay. And the interview? Lingo quite as planned. So, how do you mean? Man, I'm not just impressed on what I did. I mean, I performed quite poorly. I must say, I'm ashamed of myself. I could have done better. So you don't think you get the job? Probably not. <sighs> um, let me check what I'm cooking, alright? I'll be back. You can't blame yourself all the time, you know? These things happen. Demanding for an American visa? Just imagine. American visa? Oh. Who... <coughs> Sorry, um, did I actually say that out yeah. loud? Mm -hmm. So who wants an American visa? Oh, yes, I was referring to um, um, one of the interviewers. That's what he said to his colleague, you know, mm. I sort of... If dropped and they were talking about, I mean it was quite funny uh, I don't know and it stuck to your head this cute little head of yours you were mm. too much anyways that. food is ready should I dish yours now well I'm famished but I like to freshen up first oh yeah okay so get going then go get fresh for us yeah <laughs> all right all right, then, so I'll just step in here while you get ready. All right. All right. Okay. Yeah, so I mean, uh, thank God that we're at the point where we just have eight million naira left to pay up the balance of this house. A house of 68 million, and we've done 60 million already. I think we've done well. What if this happened when we still had like 35 million to pay or 38 million to pay, it would have been more stressful. So I don't think it's something we should worry about. Somehow we'll pay up the balance. You know, now that I think about it, you're actually right. We just have 8 million to pay to own this house. Yeah. Well, we should just keep our fingers crossed yeah. and hope for the best. Yeah, that's it, baby. No. Um, babe, just a, a second. I need to go get some medication from the car. Medication? Yeah, just a second.
You shouldn't be here and you know it. What are you doing here? If you're listening to me, I wouldn't be here. Shut up. My wife is there. Listen, I don't like what you're doing. You need to leave right now. I, you know what? I promise I'll be in your house. First thing tomorrow morning. Okay? Can you just listen to me first? At least know what brought me here. Just shout him now. Calm down. Okay, fine. Just say what you have to say. Say it quickly. My wife and children are inside. Don't rush me. I need six point three million naira to process my traveling papers in the United States of America. Six point three million naira? Where am I going to get that kind of money now? I don't know. Figure it out, man. Oh my God. Okay, fine. You know what? Just go home. Tomorrow morning we'll talk about this. You understand? Please, don't push me. Don't push me. Don't push you don't expect me to have my child here in Nigeria outside of wedlock. Please children. don't shut me up. I'm not yeah, I'm sorry, I'm not shutting you up. Okay, you know what? Just go. Just go. We'll talk about this. Just go. Please, please, please. At least give me part of the money. I don't have anything now. I don't get it. You want me to. No, fine. Just take my phone. Take my phone. Go. How much is this still? Please give me the money, I beg. Please don't do this to me now. I'll, I'll, I promise I'll work it tomorrow morning. We'll, we'll settle this tomorrow. Just go. Okay? Come on. Go. Just go. No. Why are you pushing I'm, me? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm not pushing you. I will never push you. I don't trust you. You've been, you've been, you've been busy my call. Medita, I cross my heart. I will come. All right, please. Please now, eh? please, please. What time are you doing? I'll come, I'll come very early in the morning. Very early. You'll see me first thing tomorrow morning, please, okay? With the money. Don't worry, I'll surprise you. Don't worry. I'll, I'll, I'll... I don't need surprises. I need the money. Fine. You see now. You see, you see. Just go. Fine. Better come with it. I'll come. What about the medication you went to get? I took it already. What's wrong with you? Just um, migraine. You know my usual headaches that comes once in a while. Babe, you're thinking too much. You're worrying too much. And that's why you're having all these migraines. Can you just come and lie there and just sleep? No, I, I, I need to process some things. I'll join you shortly. Let me just do something. Babe, you need to rest your head. Okay, I'll just lay it this way and wait for you. When you're ready, we'll sleep together. What are you worrying about? I've told you to stop worrying, but you won't listen. Babe, you won't understand. Understand what? That you lost your job? Is that the end of the world? But it's not just my job. Then what else? Babe, all the money that I have been making for the past couple of years now, I've been using to pay for this house. Oh. And we still have 8 million naira to pay up before we completely own this house within a certain time frame. Where am I going to get the money from? I have lost my job. We have the children's school fees to pay. We have a lot of bills to pay. To feed. How are we going to survive? Hey, Five. hey. Calm up, babe. Take it easy. All this on one head. You, I told you, you worry too much. Do you want to blow this head up? <sighs> okay. First of all, I have 5 million naira saved in my bank account. Babe? Yes, so I'll, I'll give it to you to pay the property managers. Give them five million, tell them we'll pay the balance in two or three months. I'm sure they'll take it. I mean, you've been keeping to the contracts, you haven't defaulted before. So I'm sure they'll take five million and, you know, it's just after all, how much did you pay for this house in general? It's an expensive house. They'll take it. Okay, I just need you to concentrate on getting another job. Who even says you can make all this money in two months or one month? It's money. It can easily come. Why do you have to worry and kill yourself? Do you want to hurt yourself? Babe. Yeah. Why are you doing this for me? Oh, babe. Babe, I've always told you that it's two of us against the world. 
I'll do anything for you, baby. Together, forever. Okay? I love you so much. I love you too. Actually, it's very urgent. Okay, fine, I'll catch up with you there. Um, just straight. We're almost there. Okay, I'm almost there. That's your house? <laughs> yeah. So that's your house? Mm -hmm. My house. Okay, so uh, I've been wanting to tell you. Um, I don't blame your company for laying you off. You know, what you did was way out of line. I know. I was very wrong, but I've learned my lesson now. But moving forward, yeah. I've always wanted to set up my own business. And I, there's a proposal I would love for you to see. If okay. you don't mind coming into my house. Hmm, well, Does um, know? First of all, I commend your efforts for wanting to set up your own business. And okay, I'll come in <laughs> just to see what you have. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Just get the business proposal. That's all right. Just in case. Just make yourself comfortable, okay? I'm good. Thank you. So that is how my illicit affairs with her started about five months ago. I would visit her once or maybe twice a week and um, casual sex. Even though my spirit kept telling me to desist from this act, my body was just too weak to comply. Then a couple of days ago, she informs me that she's pregnant and that I am responsible. What? Yeah. Pregnant? That's when I knew that there was fire on the mountain. And the funny thing is, she gave me this news just a day after I lost my job. You know, um, Stanley, you know, I'm so disappointed that you're telling me this no, no, no. now. Like, yes. Please, Desmond, before you start crucifying me, let me just finish. There's still more to say. So, she comes to me and then she says, I must marry her or provide a sum of 6.3 million naira to enable her relocate to the United States of America. What? Blackmail. <laughs> yeah. Blackmail. So, uh, 
Do you want to marry her? Of course not. I can't have two wives. Moreover, I love my family very much. Do you have the 6.3 million naira to give her? No. That even if I had that kind of money right now, it will only be in a wordless imagination that I give it to her. <sighs> well, uh, my friend, I will advise you tell your wife. Tell my wife what? Tell her the truth. Tell her everything she needs to know. Tell her you impregnated a girl and um, she's trying to blackmail you. She wants to extort money from you. That will help the situation. That's what. Are you out of your mind? Uh, think about it. Just, just a second. Okay. There's something I want to talk to you about. Okay, so about what? I really don't know how to say this. I don't know how to start. I. Um... Okay, I think I know what it is. Do you want money from me? No, 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 let me make it easier for you. How much money do you want, my love? Honey, it's not money I want. <laughs> so what do you want? I need your forgiveness. What have you done? I... Babe, what did you do? Jasmine, someone is pregnant for me. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Wait, 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 hold it. Is this some kind of joke? No, why would I joke about a thing like this? She's been trying to blackmail me for a sum of 6.3 million naira and she's... Because she, she, she got afraid of Jazz, I'm, I'm so sorry to disappoint you. Jasmine, please just 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 hear me out. Jasmine, I'm sorry. Please just hear me out, please.
been a while, Mr. Sudogo. Yes, Doctor. Doctor, I'm actually here for something very crucial. And what could that be? A lady claims to be pregnant for my husband. <laughs> What's your husband saying about it? He was the one who told me about this, actually. Doctor, is this possible? Well, um, medically, your husband cannot impregnate any woman. Your husband is very important, Mrs. Sodo. My wife now knows everything. I told her about us and the pregnancy. So? Well, what that means is that I am not marrying you or giving you any money. Stanley, you're joking, right? I'm not joking. However, I will take responsibility for the pregnancy and do everything that I can to provide for the child. This must be a joke now. Because how can you get me pregnant and you're saying such rubbish? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't see what I have said to be rubbish. It is what it is. <laughs> Wait. You will take full responsibility of the child. Did you hear yourself? What about me? Stanley, answer me. What about me? You know what? This marriage plan is out of the table. I don't know how you want to provide this money. Maybe sell your car. Whatever thing. Just get me the money. Sell my what? I will do no such thing. I will not sell my car. I will not sell any of my properties. And I will not give you a dime. You lie. Stanley, you lie. <laughs> See, if you know you don't want problem in your life, you better do the needful. Hence, no peace for you. Really? I would like to see you try. But for now, it's chow chow. Wow. You're living. <laughs> we shall see. We shall see. Ha. Ah. <laughs> this guy, this guy's trying me. He's trying me. Are you sure it's here? It's here. Oh, good day, madam. Oh, 
Oh, hi. Hey, 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 please. Is Stanley around? You know her? Uh, yeah, so why do you want to see Stanley? Madam, please, we are here to see your husband. Can I ask again, why do you want to see my husband? If you must know, my niece here is pregnant for him. She? Yes. What? Wait, wait, Excuse me. Come. No, Please. come now. Come and fight me. Come. Oh. Ah, you have a look for it. Madam, please, where is your husband? My husband is not around. When he comes back, tell him that in our place, the first daughter does not give birth out of wedlock. Mom. There is a taboo in our place. He impregnated her and he doesn't want to marry her. Then he should do what she demanded of him, which is sending her abroad. If he fails to do so, he will not live to tell the story. I'm telling you the truth. Oh, you you oh, see what's going on? Oh, no, oh, leave her! Hey! You! Ma be careful! So you came to my house and pretended to sell products. Meanwhile, you wanted my husband. Please, be careful! Okay, okay, let me know. No. But I, I, this is not a threat, oh. This is not a threat. <laughs> but I promise. <laughs> then let's go. Let's go. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Mr. Anayo, wasn't that talk about his life getting too far? No, it's not. It will rather make them to do something. Eh? I am so sure that the wife will not consider you for a second wife. You understand? She will rather persuade her husband to take that second option. Are you sure? I am sure. I am a trained psychologist. I know how to manipulate people to get what I want. <laughs> You know, after all, I'm the one that sold the idea for you in the first place. Trust you. Let's go. I'm not going to <laughs> Hey Stanley, I guess you're home now. Yes, I am. I guess your wife told you we came visiting too. What are you talking about? My uncle and I came to your house and your wife said you weren't around. What? You came to my house without first informing me? <clears throat> well, my uncle wanted to know when you were going to raise the money for me to travel out. See, I need to give birth outside the country. I need to give birth specifically in United States of America. If I don't, I will die, you. And that's the truth. <laughs> and if I die, you will have to marry my corpse before I'm buried. Enough of this nonsense. I will not marry any corpse even if you die. You know what, Benita? You are very much aware of my economic situation, okay? I cannot afford to send you to the United States of America. However, I can be there for my child. Is that okay? He is not your child. Jasmine? Hey. This guy is so difficult. Yes. 
she is not pregnant for you. The child in her womb is not yours. She lied to you. How do you know she's lying to me? I just told you that she lied to you. That child is not yours. But Jasmine, how can you be sure of all this? The child in her womb is not yours. How Take it do you from know? Me because you are impotent and you cannot father a child. Jasmine, what did you just say? What? Answer my question! What do you want to hear? Listen, if you want to know more about this, I advise that you visit Dr. Ralph. Jasmine! Why are you screaming my name? Why? Why? Like I said, if you want to know more about this, then you can join me to Dr. Ralph's office. Please, I need you to tell him the truth. Please. I warned you about this, madam. Why are you bringing it up now? I'm sorry, doctor. I'm really sorry. I, I... Doctor, if there's anything I need to know, spill the beans and stop playing games. I don't have time for this. Doctor, please. A lady is claiming to be pregnant for him. She's even trying to blackmail him. She's also threatening to kill him. Please, doctor, please. I beg you, please. Give me a minute. Hello, Nurse Jeswin. Yeah, please, I want you to check uh, for the file number of uh, Mr. and uh, Mrs. Uh, Odobu. Okay, I'm holding on. Okay, yeah, yeah. Three six seven seven two five, okay. Eight four. All right, thank you very much. Okay, Mrs. Stanley, here is the fertility test conducted on both of you several years ago. Your wife asked me to keep it. What's the meaning of this? Is this some kind of joke? Huh? Are you trying to block me? Are you trying to take my money? Is this a prank? What is this? Calm down, Mrs. Stanley. I lied. I lied to you. I... It's all my fault. I lied to you. You made us believe. That's where I find it. It wasn't me. I was the one who said it to you. It wasn't him. I'm a monster. I'm sorry. Get away from me. Don't Get your hands off me! Don't you dare touch me. hands off me. You disgust me. I could have sworn with my entire life that you would never do a thing like this to me. Just look at you. Pathetic liar. 
And then please let me explain everything to you. Please, 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 Of doing something like this. You know what? I just need to find somewhere to cool off for a while before I know the next step to take. Come on, instead of wasting money, why don't you come to my house? I'll be fine. You know, I mean, you're a family man. I can't just inconvenience you because of my own personal problems. I'll stay in the hotel. Moreover, you can always, you know, come say hi to me anytime you want. No, uh, just take care of yourself, okay? Yeah, I will. Get the filthy hands off me! I did not come here for any stupid or nonsense message. I came here to ask you a simple question. And I will appreciate it if you answer me truthfully and simply. Go ahead, I'm listening. Benita, who are you pregnant for? What sort of question is that? You, of course. Okay, that's not good enough. We'll try this again. Benita, who is responsible for the baby in your womb? Stanley, is this some sort of game or what? Listen to me. You had better stop lying through your feet and say the truth for once. Who is responsible for this baby? Enough of this, Stanley. You are responsible for the pregnancy. Is this a ploy for you not to give me the money to travel to the United States of America? Because you have failed. See, you're the only man I've slept with in the last six months. Well, I have made my decision. Henceforth, you will avoid me completely until the baby is born. And after that, we will conduct a DNA test to ascertain the true paternity of the child. If it turns out that I am the biological father, only then will I take full responsibility. <laughs> Stanley, you're kidding, right? Hmm? <laughs> How do you expect me to wait till I give birth to my child before you take full responsibility? Well, I've said what I said. I am not having this conversation again until you put to bed. Okay, fine. It's fine. But you at least give me the money to travel to the United States of America to at least have my child. Our child! Oh. You're not getting any money from me. Peace out. Wait! That's Stanley! Oh my god. This guy. This guy is so difficult. What do I do? What do I do?
Mommy, yes. Is that the not your back? No, no, um, that is not your back, okay? I'm not crying, okay? Mommy, why is that in your year back? Um, yeah, daddy traveled. He traveled to Abuja. Abuja? Yes. Mommy, when is daddy going to be back? Uh, very soon, okay? He'll, he'll come soon, okay? Don't worry. Daddy will come soon, all right? <sighs> Hurry up, man. Else you'll be late for the interview. Yeah. How do I look? You look nice. You, you look smashing. I just hope I nail this interview because I really need this job. You will. Just be positive, okay? Thank you, Desmond, for always encouraging me and for all your support. It's okay, you're welcome. Let's go, let's go, let's go. To test. Right now, we're just waiting for the results. Oh, okay. So, um, what what if when the result comes out and it happens to be that you're the one at fault? Guy, <laughs> if I find out that I am important, I'll just end it all. End it all? What do you mean by that? If the result comes out and it turns out that I have the inability to father a child, I'll kill myself. You're kidding me, right? Why would I be kidding you? I mean, what's the point of living when you can't even father your own child, your own flesh and blood, your own DNA? Bro, I commit suicide. No jokes. What? Are you, are you serious? Come on, suicide is not an option. You know what? Just pretend you never heard this. Doctor. Oh, madam, you're welcome. I'm so sorry. The traffic held me back. Oh, I'm so sorry. I was hoping to see you and your husband. Oh, oh yeah, he couldn't make it, so he said I should come. Um, he's very busy with work. Okay, well, madam, uh, the result is out, but I was still, you know, wishing your husband would have been here to see this with you. Wishing? Doctor, he can't be here at the moment, but I'm here. Or is there a problem? Well, with you, no, there's no problem. But with your husband, yes, there is a problem. According to our medical uh, report, we discovered that your husband has a medical uh, condition, which is uh, azospermia. Azospermia? Yes. What does that mean? Well, it means that uh, his sperm count is low and uh, his sperm cells are weak, so he can't get a woman pregnant. What? 
No, doctor, doctor, no, you can't, you can't say that. My husband, my husband is impotent. No, doctor. Oh my god. Doctor, my husband cannot hear this. <sighs> he will kill himself. Madam, he's not going to kill himself. Doctor, my husband loves children and he has always said it that if he can't find a child, there's no need for him to leave. I don't want my husband to die. Doctor, please. Please, you can't tell my husband this. Please don't tell him. I beg you. What? Please. What are you asking me to do will go against the ethics of my profession. Doctor, you need to help me here. You also tried to save my husband's life. I promise you, you won't lie. He won't even ask you. Just, I will make him feel that everything is fine. It's not about going against anything, Doctor. I need my husband to stay alive. I love my husband so much, please. See Dr. Ralph today. Okay. Mm. And our test results are out. Tell me about it. Good news. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we are healthy and medically fit to have our own children. I knew it! <laughs> I told you, yes, God's yes. time is the best. Mm -hmm. So he said we are okay, we should just relax and do our thing. That our kids will come at the right time. And they will come. And they will come, baby. Yeah, I can't wait. Me too. To be called a daddy. I know, right? <laughs> you know, I've always told you that our kids will have S names like you. S names? Mm hmm. Mm, like yeah. um, Salome. Sally. Sally? Mm hmm. And, and I'm Stanley uh, too, for my boy. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah, that sounds about right. Stan and Sally. Mm -hmm. You're so smart. I love you, darling. I love you more, baby. <laughs> okay, madam. I have uh, seven available uh, donors. So all I need to do is uh, send you the pictures and uh, the history so you have to go through and then um, choose the one that um, you would prefer okay okay wow well, especially the pictures I, I need to see that too <laughs> and read the history yeah so i can choose well so doctor when do you think this artificial insemination can be carried out um your ovulation window opens in uh, six days okay I'll have to monitor you and know when best to carry out the procedure. Okay. Hey, sounds good. Sounds good. Doctor, thank you so much for this. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank right. you. <laughs> so you see, Mr. Desmond, I was the one that uh, carried out the two uh, procedures, the two times she gave uh, birth to those uh, children. And I've been trying to reach uh, Mr. Stanley, but he's not taking up my calls. So you see why we need you. Please, this one, I need you. I swear, I have never thought of cheating on my husband. Not to talk of doing it. I have never cheated on him and I will never. I just wanted to save my family. I just wanted to save him the embarrassment and the hurt of knowing that he cannot father children. That was why I kept this away from him and did it all by myself. I know it's wrong. It was wrong of me to have done that, but I had the best intentions, I swear. 
Please, he's not talking to me. I beg you. I, I can do without my husband. Please, I beg you. Talk to him for me. I need him okay. to come back home. Please. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Um, the truth is, I've been talking to him. But he's very angry and he's hurt. Right? But I, I will talk to him again. I just pray he listens to me. I just calm down. Everything will be fine. Benita, what do you mean that I can't get my payment? Mr. Anayi, how many times do I have to explain this to you? Yeah. Explain what? Yeah? You came to me, tell him that you want to travel to America. You don't have fun over it. And I advised you to get a young looking man that will help you to bankroll it. You came back asking me to help to pretend to be your uncle. That you are going to pay me money Enough. now. Enough! Do you just enjoy hearing yourself speak? I have explained this to you over and over again. Eh? I said this, you said that. Haba! No, 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 no. Please, 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 I'm not on this. Give, give, give me my money, I beg. I am not giving you a dime because the deal was unsuccessful. Was it my fault? <laughs> How am I meant to know? I'm suspecting you were the one who went to tell him I wasn't pregnant so you could get money off him as well. As a matter of fact, get out. I should leave your house. You heard me right. Please leave. Hey, we shall see. Hey? We shall see nothing. Please go, let me. But you Ma, Pia was me. Oga, you okay. know if you do anything. Na okay. mouse you did. Okay. Yeah, what's up, man? Desmond! <laughs> Guess what? what? Guy. I got the job! I got the job, yes! Are you serious? I got the job! Congratulations, man. Thanks, thanks. Congratulations. But, but thank you for believing in me, man. I mean, without you, what would I have done? Thanks, man. No, thanks, I, I, told, I told you you got the job. I know. I told you. I, I so, um, uh, when are you resuming work? First thing on Monday morning. Are you, are you serious? Yeah. Yes! Wow. You know what? I owe you drinks because this calls for a celebration. You just pick any bar of your choice and pay him. I'm buying. So, <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, we'll go out. All right. Um, I want to discuss something with you. Whatever we want to discuss about, we can discuss it about drinks now. Come on. Come on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> you know, I ran into your wife today. Excuse me. Yeah. Yeah. And how is that supposed to be my business? Come, calm down. All right. She she told me everything, and the reason why she did it. I just means you don't be a killjoy. You're killing my mood right now. All right. Sandy. All right. Um, you just let me finish. Calm down. I'm not saying what she did was right. It's against marital vow. All right? Um, but you influence a choice of action by what you said. And what did I say? Tell me, what exactly did I say to her that was okay, so okay, wrong? Okay, okay. Listen, remember that fateful night when you said uh, if you find out that you are impotent and you cannot find a child, you're going to kill yourself. You're going to commit suicide. She, she heard our conversation. Yeah, I mean, but... but mean? I, I, I'm, I'm not that stupid. Why, why would I kill myself? But, listen. What you said led her to what she did. All right? You never said as if you were kidding. You were so serious. Come on, man. There's no way I'll kill myself. I can't do that. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not crazy. What are you talking about? Listen. You're my friend. All right? And I will tell you the truth. Sometimes we look at the reason for an action rather than the action itself. I need you to calm down. Think about it. She loves you. She's your wife. She did everything just to keep the marriage, to make you happy because you said you're going to kill yourself. Please. Think about it. Think about it.
see how funny his nose is. No, 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 don't, don't. Stand up. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Miss you so much. I trust you too. Stan, Sally, come hug mommy and daddy. 